All right, so I wanted to get this video out there because there's not a lot of information on it yet, but I think it's extremely important for those of us in the SEO and digital marketing world to know what is going on. So Google has just announced BARD and it's their response to ChatGPT. So what the heck is BARD? Well, this is an experimental conversational AI and it's powered by their language model for dialogue applications. Uh, it's called La NDA for short. So Google can answer questions that might not have one right answer. We know that Google has been working in the world of AI for quite a long time. They were behind massive leaps forwards with their work in Transformers. And we saw Bert coming in behind the scenes years ago. Just two years ago, they announced Mum, which also allows them to apply these language models to more types of media. So we're not talking just about text, but video and audio and the like. They've continued to grow in this area quite a bit over the last few years. And now they're getting into the chat game and how that plays with search, we'll find out. Right now, this has not been rolled out, but it is going to be coming in the next few weeks, they say. Uh, right now, it is being used only by trusted testers who is able to play with it right now and give some feedback. There's a lot more to this story. If you just go head over to SE Roundtable, they do a great job of covering all this. So I'm going to be citing them throughout this as well as citing Google's release. Uh, if we look at Google, this is what they're saying about it. You'll see AI powered features in search that will distill complex information in multiple perspectives in easy to digest formats. So you can quickly understand the big picture and learn more from the web, whether that's seeking out additional perspectives like blogs from people who play both piano and guitar. This was referring to uh, one of the examples or going deeper on a related topic like the steps to get started as maybe a beginning musician these ai features will begin rolling out on google search soon you can learn more about that on blog.google uh, where you can find a lot more information on the topic all right so let's take a look at what this looks like in in real life this is a, a maybe a little bit smaller screen so you have to zoom in but i'm going to go ahead and just tell you what's going on here the query says is piano or guitar easier to learn and how much practice does each need now underneath, you see this answer that looks very similar to a featured snippet. Below that, we've got some blog articles and a Quora panel here. Um, but as you can see, this is something that we probably are used to seeing, something like a featured snippet. But I want you to really look at it and notice something. Is there anything missing? All right, now I'm going to share with you where Bard actually gets its information from. So Bard seeks to combine the breadth of the world's knowledge with the power, intelligence, and creativity of our language models. It draws on information from the web to provide fresh, high quality responses. If you look at this, you'll notice that there's zero attribution. There's no link involved in this answer. So people who've provided freely information to search engines, again, in return for hopeful search visibility, but they've allowed these bots to crawl their website. Google's used that to inform their language models. They've then used that content to then give an answer uh, to a searcher who's trying to understand something, all without attributing the person who actually supplied them with the original knowledge and information. They've organized that knowledge, they've delivered that knowledge to an individual, but they haven't attributed where that knowledge has come from. Now, to me, this presents a big issue, not just for SEO. Yes, I think that's important, but this goes to more of an ethical issue of uh, attribution. When you write a research paper and you take an idea and you build off an idea of somebody, you're supposed to cite the sources you're using. And in this case, we're not seeing that happen. Uh, now, this is just an early screenshot of what could potentially roll out to everybody else. But if Google is not going to cite these sources and they're not going to disclose where this information is coming from and they're not going to credit the content creator behind this source of knowledge, to me, that's a big miss. And honestly, I think that's extremely unethical because these are the people that drive the web. Content creators drive the internet. And that's how these language models grow and learn by using other people's information. Now I get that we allow them to use it freely and then we get to be on their platform. But in the past, we at least got an exchange with a link. We provided some sort of attribution. If this is the way it's heading, I think that's gonna be a bad thing for content creators. And I'll say in the long run, maybe people start blocking these types of bots from crawling their websites, which is gonna present a whole different uh, set, set of issues and stuff for the web. So in my opinion, I hope to see this change. So far, this is what we've seen just from a screenshot that's been shared with us. Uh, and I'm not the only one that feels this way. Let's look at what some of the other people in the SEO world are saying. So Lily Ray's kind of backing that up and she's agreeing, right? We need to have some sort of a link to the source, right? Kind of makes, uh, makes it important right here. Glenn Gabe, she was commenting on one of his thing. You know, it's an experimental form. We're not seeing attributes or citations, no links, no clicks. Uh, that's an act of war against publishers. 
that's basically telling publishers, we're going to use your content and we're not going to give you any attribution. I don't think this is going to go well in the long run if that's how they plan to roll it out. Uh, we see this over here. Again, I thought they would include some sort of citations, um, but apparently Google's got it wrong here. And then we see it down here again. Uh, the guy who wrote this great in-depth article on how to teach people to, to learn, learn music and the best ways to do it and when to practice, he's getting no credit because they're just scraping his idea, compressing it into a small form and giving it to the user without telling the user where that came from. Um, so content creators are losing. We're in an AI war, so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. We know that Bing has partnered with ChatGPT. Google is rolling out uh, their, their own with, with, uh, with Bard. And we're gonna have to see where this goes. So let's look at some key takeaways, just if you're, you're looking at the news with this today. Uh, Google Bard is being tested by its trusted testers. It's gonna roll out more widely to Google users in other products. It's not just for Google search, it's actually gonna be stemming through a lot of other products as well in the coming weeks. Uh, this is presenting a massive change in the SERP, especially from a mobile experience perspective. And as of now, we do not see attribution. Go learn for yourself, uh, read on the Google blog, go ahead and check out SE Roundtable and learn more there. If you got any questions, comment on this video. I'll do my best to answer them. Obviously, this is something very new and I am not a trusted tester, so I don't get to see the behind the scenes yet. And as we begin to see this roll out, we're going to look at it much more deeply. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to see where, the, where we go from here.